Assassin's Creed Valhalla's combat has more depth than you might think, with special moves and combinations that you can easily switch between, or abilities that will help you get more out of your fighting style. My name is Joraptor, and I will take you over some key things that you need to know to get more out of the Valhalla combat and bring your enemies to their knees even faster. If at any point you found these tips helpful, then totally leave a like on the video, and let's go. Every melee weapon in Valhalla of course has a light and heavy attack combo, including the shields, which when used in the right hand can hit the enemies too. And the light shields are obviously faster than swinging those heavy shields around. And the same can be said for the one-handed weapons versus the two-handed weapons that are of course a bit stronger but also heavier. And you can of course see how fast a weapon is thanks to the speed on the item card. And sure this can differ per item but overall a dagger while of course only handy in close range is way faster than a spear that you can of course also use to hit enemies that stand further away. There are now 10 weapon types in total including the new sickle which is exclusive to the wrath of the druids dlc and actually has a fun light with heavy attack combo the regular light combo of this weapon is namely pretty long but if you after three light attacks follow up with a heavy attack you combine the two attacks for a faster finisher Something that the other weapons have, by the way, as well. And finishers are the end of a combo, so after that you have to wait a bit before you can attack again, and there are perks that trigger on these finishers. Like with the Fortress Bite X, you have a 40% chance to trigger this poison bomb on a heavy combo finisher, which will then, of course, deal poison damage to enemies. It's pretty strong. And you find a similar perk on the Spinning Death Flail, but now you drop this fire bomb on a heavy combo finisher, which can let the enemies catch fire and instantly die or deal some nice regular damage. So when you got a weapon like that, it's smart to focus around that heavy combo finisher. So doing light attacks first and then the heavy attack to get to that finisher faster is really key. But there's also this amazing combo with the flails that make this one of the best weapon types in Valhalla. If you namely got the timing right while using two of them, which is after three light attacks. And then when in this animation you want to hold the light attack button instead. And now you will do this almost endless swing attack, which has its attack increase over time. Left hand attacks, or also called special attacks, cost stamina. And are different per weapon type. If you use one two-handed weapon, you will be able to use both the right hand, so the regular attacks, and this left hand attack. But for single weapons in one hand, you will need to actually hold the weapon in your left hand for this attack to be possible. If you only have a weapon in your right hand, you will by the way use your hidden blade instead as the left hand attack to grab enemies and throw them on the ground. Which is actually quite nice to do too in combination with the stomp skill. Now if you want to use the right hand and the left hand attack of one weapon type. Then you need to have two of those weapons in your hands. Which in many instances increases the damage of the left hand attack too. Holding one bearded axe in the left hand has you only hit with one axe. While using two bearded axes has you use both increasing the damage. And the same is by the way the case for the sickle which has one of the best special attacks in the game. Unleashing this full combo with two of them can very easily kill the enemies instantly. The left hand attack of the two handed Dane axe is a bit different. One axe lets you do the whirlwind type of attack like this, while if you equip a second one, you will use that one to hit the enemy too. But what is interesting is that every other two handed weapon, so also a spear or two handed sword, can be used in this left hand attack as well, which is quite nice. And if you, of course, want to use two two handed weapons, then you have to unlock the heavy dual wield skill. I will touch on more skills and abilities you want to use in a moment, but first some other special attacks that I really love, like swinging around the flail in the left hand is awesome, because you stagger the enemy and keep hitting them. High chance to do a crit then as well, which can set your weapon on fire if you equip the right major rune. My favorite left hand attack is that of the spear, which is basically a free harpoon because you grab the enemies and can throw them on the ground or against each other 
or from really high places. Like there are a ton of options to use this impale attack and it really never gets old. Pro tip is also to often use the dual swap skill which can let you switch hands between weapons you are using. Meaning that you can look at the situation and think of the best left hand attack to use because if you switch you can use both left hand attacks without going to the menu. The only thing that is stopping you from using these left hand attacks is your stamina bar, the blue bar below your health. But you can instantly refresh that by using an ability like the dive of the Valkyries so you can immediately do these attacks again. I always reset my stamina with the fire strike ability which is also key to use as often as possible because your damage increases and enemies will catch fire extremely fast and are then unable to do anything back. So yes, totally make sure that you have fire on your weapon as often as possible and use it to reset your stamina. Fire on your weapon with the sickle's left hand attack is by the way amazing if you for example use the Viking or Salute that is also part of the Druids DLC. You can very easily create an opening for the full combo. Also the Irish Wolfhound from that DLC is now one of the best combat abilities because this super aggressive dog will throw multiple enemies on the ground during the 40 second duration so you can very easily manage a fight against multiple enemies. Other skills that are amazing to use in combat are the sprint attack which gives you a nice opening by hitting the light attack button after a sprint. Especially love the slide move with the sickle. Brush with death is great too where perfectly dodging away from the target slows down the time so you can easily hit your next attack. And another great skill that is all about timing is the missile reversal which lets you shoot back arrows from an enemy if you hit the parry button at the right time instantly killing archers sometimes or you can throw back javelins from other enemies or even bombs from the zealots it's a really fun skill with a ton of options and you can of course also use one of the three bow types to hit enemies from afar predator bows excel at stealth to snipe enemies when sneaking through a camp because they will be hard to aim when in direct combat. I really enjoy using the light bows for their rapid fire speed which lets you try and hit the enemy's weak points more easily and these are of course the highlighted areas you always want to focus on when aiming your bow to bring them on their knees so you can very easily finish them off especially nice to do with the bow stun finisher. And the hunter's bow is of course your average bow, especially great in combination with the charged shot skill, which lets you like instantly kill many enemies if you aim carefully, making the hunter's bow the best bow all around, but again, it also depends on your playstyle. Let me know which weapon types and combinations you prefer in the comments down below. Again, a like on the video would be awesome. And subscribe for more Ubisoft gameplay and content. My name is Joraptor and thanks for watching.